We have no idea what we're talking about today. Tuesday. Secret scripture. No, Jason, if I'm gonna able to do a secret scripture. Well, we'll find out, Goofy. We'll be right back. Hey, I'm Pastor Jason, and I'm waking up. I'm going to shock. <laughs> I'm going to wake up to you. <laughs> You're Pastor Goofy. Alejandro. Alejandro. If you're a new subscriber, type in where you're from. We'd like to read that on Wednesdays. And you look fabulous today. You really do look nice. Epic day. Don't forget the most important thing. Hit that notification button if you have it. And you get notifications when we post up this wake up. This is our daily Bible study. And today on Tuesdays, we, uh, we let our producer... Just give us some random scripture, and we make that our Bible. So we do, we haven't seen it yet. We haven't seen it. Ready? Here we go. Haley, what is it? John sixteen thirty three. In the world, you will have problems. I love that. Sometimes people get saved, and they're like, they think that Christianity is going to be butterflies and pancakes and <laughs> candy blizzards. I love pancakes, but I can only have gluten free pancakes now. Oh, uh, they're all right. The, they make them really well at two places: Wildflower and Butters. But have very good gluten free pancakes. Like I like them better than regular pancakes. Really? You haven't uh, wait. I say say it again. You haven't heard of what? This is so funny. I don't like pancakes. You haven't heard of what? Butters. Where's butters? Oh my gosh! It is the greatest breakfast place known to Arizona. Where is it? I'll go tomorrow. There's one um up on off of Via de Ventura. No. And uh and Hayden. No, too far. Via de Ventura and Hayden. Flats. Butters. It's not 12 minutes away. I won't drive to it. It's too far. It's so yummy. It's worth it. Is it really? No. Well, if you have it once, you'll drive it. You know, will I? Yeah. Tell me. I won't. You're right. You won't. You'll never try it. 12 minutes. You're missing out, just so you know. Sometimes we find ourselves up there, so I will now, I'll lock. Would you drive for the Disney Churro? No. Not 12 minutes. I love 12 it. minutes is That's the- That's circle. That's what you for. Lord, you know, you Lord know. help me. Just help me. I, you know, it's so funny. As I married a woman, she goes, it's so funny how she, she sells it. She loves road trips. So we had, we, we, we were busy like last weekend. Like we had a, a party Friday night and then we had at our house had a massive uh, 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 honey's birthday party. A gajillion people were there to set up everything. Else. Yes, I was there too. She's like, Saturday morning. I'm tired. And she goes, you know what? Hey, honey, I have a great idea. What if tomorrow night, Saturday night, she goes, what if we got in a Jeep and we just drove? We just drove for hours. She's like, what? and I'm like, do you know me? It's like, hi, I'm Scott. But I'm a I'm the husband that goes, oh my gosh, honey, to be with you in a car for two hours sounds like a dream. Let's do that. And that's what we did. Well, I was just going to say, like, you drive all the way up to- uh, We just drive like, up to Canyon Lake every- No, no, yeah, towards Canyon Lake. What's the name of that place that you go up to? A little town, past Canyon yeah. Lake. Yeah. Uh, what is that town? How long a drive is that? 45 minutes? Tortilla Flats, yeah, we go up to Tortilla Flats and have ice cream up there. So you're driving hypocrite. No, I love my wife. I hate it. I hate driving. Why do you drive to Tortilla Flats? Because she wants to. Oh. Why do you do things? You drug me along once on the trip, too. Because of our wives. Oh, I see. Okay, I'm with you now. I'm very... I love her. I was very confused. I'm like, you don't stick to your 12-minute rule. I, oh, wait, wait, wait. She, I see, I see. We don't the world. She has something about her. I don't know what it is, Jason. She... Why are we talking about driving, though? I don't know. Either. Butters. Well, I have tribulation. That's why. But ta- I mean, here's a great part, Jason. Take heart. Take heart. Come on, Jason. I have overcome the world. Jesus is trying to encourage us that when things go crazy, A, don't be surprised. I, like, bingo. It says it in, I think it's in Second Peter or First Peter. Why are you surprised that this fiery trial is happening to you? <laughs> I'm right. I like you. was like, so why is this, this a surprise? The world, the world hates you. The world gets out of your post and they troll you. Are you surprised? Well, why were we surprised that the Olympic Open did what they did? No, there was, I was not surprised. When the world does stuff like that, why are we surprised? They don't know any better. No, they don't. They don't know. No. They don't know our Jesus. Right. It's There's long. Remember when you were, remember when you weren't born again yet? You didn't know Jesus and the stuff you used to do? Were you any better? No. No, we all did stuff that we're ashamed of nowadays. But because of God's great mercy, he saved us. Oh, okay. He didn't wrath us. His goodness led us to repentance. In the same way, we have to pray for these people in the world that they're mocking Christ and the and doing their 
their thing. That's what they do. We just have to pray for them. Man, I love that. You had a really God, bring a revival to our you area. Good Instagram. You haven't seen that. Thank you. Really cool. I like the part, though, that, that there becomes a point where it's our responsibility. He says, you take part. Okay. Is, I mean, I, I read that, Jason, as take hope, take confidence, yeah. take a, a faith, take an expectation that, that I have to, like, I'm going through something. Don't be surprised about it. But I need to take my faith upon me and believing that God, you know, you overcome the world, so shall I. Yeah. Stop describing it and start declaring at it. Right. A lot of times we describe how bad it is. Oh, look at the, this is all falling apart. And I got this bad doctor's report and I'm all out of money and I'm all out of my, my relationships are falling apart. And we we can get so discouraged and we start to describe to people what's wrong. And we sound like victims, like we can't control, like we don't have a say over our life. Oh, okay. But you have a say. You can declare what God declares over you. And, and you can come into agreement, and by faith you can see things turn around. So, yeah, there's going to be trouble, but you're an overcomer. <laughs> and Jesus goes, I have over, he's, he says this, I have overcome the world. Like, he won it all, and we just get to rest in that. We just have to step up behind him and walk as he did and declare mountain be moved and cast into the sea, right? You gave me a great series again. I think really? Like, like that, because people go, well, I don't have a say over that. No, you know, the series would be called, you have a say over your life. You do. Because people say that all the time. Well, I don't have a say over that. I don't have a say over this. I don't have a say over my spot. I don't. Yes. Yes. You have a say over your life. You're a maiden. God's like his image. He has a say over what happens in this world, you know? You're saying. And if he's. The planet. If he spoke, if he spoke healing already, you don't even have to guess if it's his will. He already healed me. So I know it's his will for me to be healed. Now I begin to declare it. Now you might have to de de declare it more than once. Right. Right. You might have to declare it for a year. I don't know. But don't give up. You know that God is a healing God. He's your Jehovah Rapha. That by the stripes of Jesus, you have past tense already been healed. Now you walk in your healing. Amen. Because faith cometh by? Hearing. And the best hearing, I believe, is when you hear your own voice. Wow. Right? When I hear my own voice say it on the outside and on the inside, I am healed. I am whole. I am blessed. I, I am delivered. Overcomer, I'm a delivered. God is restoring me. Marriage, I have great children. I have, like, say it. Amen. Speak it. Stop describing and start declaring. Take heart. Amen. Amen. If you learned anything today, we encourage you to uh, partner with us at wakeuptv.tv and $8 a week or $34 a month or a dollar a day. Yeah. A dollar a day. 34 a month, but eight a week. What's the math on that? The math is all off. 4.3. It's four because there's 4.3 weeks in a month. Yeah. Could, that makes sense. Right. Uh, so I encourage you to do that. And uh, let's pray over you. Dear Father, Lord, we thank you and praise you, Lord, that, yeah, we may have problems, but we take heart because we know that you have overcome the world, that you are the one that's overcome or built inside of us everything that we need for whatever battle. Through Christ Jesus, we can do all things. And so, Lord, we thank you that we speak it. We don't describe it, but we speak healing. We speak faith. We speak prosperity. We speak blessings. We speak victory over every of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, everybody said. Amen. All right, we're doing a brand new thing today. Okay. It's called Two Truths and a Lie. And so we're not going to give you the answer this week, but you put down it. Oh, really? You think. Yeah. I think so. So that everybody give their comments. Okay. And then next Tuesday, we'll tell them what the, the answer was. Got it. All right. So here we go. I don't know who's we're doing. Uh, wait, wait. It's supposed to be just two truths and a lie. So I'll read all all three of mine. I guess mine's first. Is this a truth or a lie? We don't know. All right. So I'm going to give you three. You're going to pick out which one's a lie. I once hiked to the top of a mountain during a monsoon rainstorm. Next one. That sounds true. I met a UFC heavyweight champion at a high school event and almost got in a fight with him. That sounds pretty far-fetched, which makes me think true. Next. Like you pick something that would be like hard. Next. I gave my Super Bowl tickets to Jensen Franklin. Three. Super Bowl? T you had Super Bowl tickets? Yep. You know Jensen Franklin? Now, did you do one, or are we just doing me this week? No, it's just you. I didn't know. So one of those is false. Which one do you think, Jason? You can put. You can do your answer. I'm not going to give my answer until next week. I think the monsoon one is the false one. The other two are so outlandish that they probably true. But me hiking is not outlandish? That's pretty, pretty outlandish. That's anyone that knows me. Yeah, but it sounds believable to the audience. Yeah. Put it down in there. What do you think? And, and I know you pretty well. And my brother, watch this. You probably shouldn't ask me. <laughs> then here comes the other voice that many of us have. You're not good enough. You're not enough. 
You don't pray enough. You, you don't live the right life. You blew it. You have a past. You got skeletons in your, who's got some skeletons? Don't raise your hand. <laughs> you got nothing but life in you now because Jesus, because the blood of Jesus has resurrected everything in you and redeemed all of you. You're the righteousness of God, but people still pretend like they're sinners. Oh, I'm just a sinner, barely saved. Don't, don't talk like that. Don't beat yourself up. You are the righteousness of God created in Christ to do good works, which he planned in advance for you to do. Come on, somebody. Don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Oh, I'm right. Be a church. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Always right. He's always right. I have the Holy Spirit. He does. That is just a genius. <laughs> um, what do we do? Oh, like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to be in church. Over, you Hit that notification button. Did you yeah. put our honey to the set today? I did. Ooh. And far? Uh, I'm not against it. For coffee. When I have coffee, I don't put white sugar in it. Cause you become our father. I'm off white sugar. You need to become my dad. So my dad, with him at any given time... Has maple syrup. Sir. He does. You bring your honey. Yeah, I do. I can't bring some. I bring nothing. I'll start bringing some. We'll see you tomorrow.